everybody howdy how's everybody doing today how's everybody doing today today is kind of a lazy day not gonna lie for me i kind of stayed in I, I i i had the day off from work right and i literally just i was planning on going somewhere but it looked like it was gonna rain so i never left the house uh and i kind of regret it because it actually turned out to be a decent day but i literally just spent the entire day in my house like not doing anything and i feel kind of bad for it like i actually feel bad like a physically like i physically feel bad because i didn't do shit all day except like i actually what did i do today i woke up at like 6 30 i remember that and then someone in the western vtuber group told me to go back to bed <laughs> someone told me to go to sleep because i don't know if you guys knew but last night we hit 100 followers, right? So I decided, you know what would be fun? You know what's going to be a fun way to celebrate 100 subs or 100 followers? I'm going to I'm going to crack open a bottle of whiskey and drink. So I think I had like two beers and like two glasses of whiskey, I think. And I'm a lightweight, so that was enough to actually get me drunk like i was i i was drunk like i i was i really was honestly and i've only ever that's only the second time in my entire life i've ever actually been drunk before like but I, I had a lot of fun so you know what it was okay i guess i i don't know i'm because the first time i don't think i ever i don't think i ever talked about this on stream maybe i did but the first time i ever got drunk it was i was miserable like, I literally spent, like, that night, like, I was sick, like, I felt horrible, you know, and then the next day when I woke up, like, I spent the whole day, like, I had chills, like, I, I felt like I had the flu or something, like, legitimately, like, just without, like, all the, all, like, the nasal congestion and stuff, like, I just had, like, achy bones and muscles, and, yeah, that, that was the day after, that was literally, like, the day after, like, for 24, I was, like, I felt it for, like, a full 24 hours. Yeah, that, yeah, so there was that. And then yesterday was the second time ever. And this time, I actually didn't feel horrible. I mean, I wouldn't say I felt good. I, I just didn't feel bad. Like, I was having fun. And then I woke up this morning, I felt kind of crappy, but not really terrible. So, you know, hey, that's good. You know, don't have much of a hangover today. That's awesome. That's great. <clears throat> yeah, so that's how my, that's how last night went. We actually have 101 followers now. Uh, looks like, I think this was, yeah, this is after I stopped streaming. Uh, Deyu Lamb, thank you for, I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I think they, I think they followed right after I raided Pumpkin. Yeah. Okay, so, because it's been a chill day today, pretty chill. We got a pretty chill game planned. Um, we're gonna be playing Zoo Tycoon 2, which I played when I was a kid. And actually, recently, I was feeling very nostalgic for it, right? I was feeling very nostalgic for it. So I decided to actually see if I could... And here's the thing, right? I have a physical copy of this game. I have a physical copy of it. But my PC does not have a disk drive. So because of that, I couldn't install it again. So I decided, okay, is there anywhere I can find a digital copy? And as it turns out, Amazon actually sells digital copies of games and zoo tycoon 2 was one of the games that they had a digital copy for so obviously i purchased it and installed it and it's so fun it really is hey cat hello how are you doing today okay so yeah so that's what i did i figured it would at least be fun to stream you know it would at least be a fun game to stream and also yes the game is literally built like this i don't think this game was meant to be played on uh, on a widescreen monitor i don't think it was because this is literally like 
these black bars are literally here for me too. Like, this is a window. This is a full window. This is literally what the window looks like. There's just black bars on the side of the screen. So yeah, that, I've been playing this... I, actually, I've been playing this a little bit. Um, I actually do have a zoo that I've been working on. Um, I might... You guys want to see that? You guys want... Yeah, you know what? I'll show you guys the zoo I've been working on first. Literally worst day of my life. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, cat. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it gets better. I really hope it does. All right, so let me show you this zoo that I've been working on in my free time, pretty much. Oh, and keep in mind, I do have some mods installed on this. So I do have some animals that aren't in the base game. I have a few that aren't in the base game. Uh, like, they're mostly, I got, like, some pack. I think it was called, like, the Forgotten Animals pack. And it's just remakes of, like, animals from the original Zoo Tycoon game. Zoo Tycoon 1. So, yeah. Here we are. This is kind of the zoo that I've been working on. Um. Oh, no. The, is this going to be, like, one of those things where, like, okay, good. The mouse is going to go out the window. All right. But, yeah, as you can see, it's just... I got, like, a little entrance here. I obviously got, like, the gift shop. And I've made this in the sandbox mode, so, like, literally, like, I have unlimited cash. Oh, great. One of my, rhino, one of my rhinos is fucking pregnant again. <laughs> That's cool. We're going to have a whole herd of fucking rhinos. Yeah, like, you... But for those of you who are unfamiliar with this game, it's literally about, like, building a zoo. Like, it's literally about building a zoo, making money and everything. Like, making sure your animals are okay and everything. Yeah, you can, like, take care of them. It's, pr it's pretty cool. So, yeah, obviously, there's, like, the Spinosaurus. I, I probably won't... I want to get to, like, building an actual zoo, so I probably won't stick around it too long. Yeti 3 is now pregnant, too. I forgot I have Yetis. Yeah, I've got Yetis, too. Hold up. The Yetis are over here. Which, these are... This is a mod. Yeah, this is a mod here, so... This is... This is that... The, the Yetis were actually in the, uh first zoo tycoon game but they never but the, the but they were like a bonus animal i think i think they're you had to like meet had to like find like an easter egg or something to get them to actually work so i got spinosaurus yeti i got some triceratops over here uh let's see oh yeah here are the here are the woolly rhinos Uh, Spinosaurus 2 is unable to reach the food trough. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it always says they're unable to reach the food trough. When I know they can, because I literally watched them go to it. So I know they're fucking lying to me. There's the ma- here are the mammoths. These mammoths are actually not in Zoo Tycoon 2. Like, the, like this is another mod. Like the Spinosaurus, like the Yeti, that, that's another mod. Uh, let's see, I, I went to the rhinos. Yeah, hey, I've got a little... I've got another... I've got a few, like, food courts around. Because people kept complaining, like... Because literally, like, zoo guests kept complaining that there's no places to eat. Like, to sit and eat. It's like, yes, there are. Like, uh, but I'll add more, I guess. Oh, and look at this. Yeah, I got the saber tooth cats, obviously. Because they're just badass. No Godzilla? Oh, that might actually be a mod. Honestly, that might be a mod. I, I'll have to look. Was that fucking Bob Ross? That looks like Bob Ross. <laughs> okay, I think this is the last extinct animal I have, maybe. Um, let's see. It is a mod. Oh my god, it is? Oh, I'll, have to, I'll have to find it. And these are just a Patasaurus. This is also a mod. Uh, I think they... I think they're stuck, actually. They've been stuck there for a while. Like, it seems like every time I check up on them, they're over there. Unless they're, like, constantly eating or something. I don't know. Okay, whoop. Oh, yeah, it's saltwater, saltwater crocodiles. Let me check their water, because these zookeepers... I don't even know why I pay these motherfuckers. Like, they're not, like... They're not cleaning up, like, anything. I just want to see if, like... Okay, that's, like, the third or fourth time it says they couldn't reach, a lo like, large poop or something. Like, what the hell, man? What do I pay you guys for? Like, legitimately... Got a restaurant, play area. Look, just some little things there. Someone, fucking trash cans. Okay. 
An American bison's apparently about to give birth. That's cool. I got Komodo. Oh, for the love of God. You guys suck. What? It's always like, oh, no, we can't reach it. You know, we literally can't reach the fucking, like, piles. It's like, bro, there's nothing obstructing them. My brother in Christ, just pick them up. You know what I mean? All right, so I got camels. This is actually the first one. I think these are, this is actually the first exhibit enclosure I made. Uh, let's see, I've got... There's elephants over there. Can't reach the substrate. Oh my god, okay. I do not have gorilla... or do, I don't have Godzilla, but I do have gorillas. So... They're really small gorillas. Oh my... What do you mean can't reach water to clean... Bro, like, come on. These guys suck. <laughs> These zookeepers fucking suck. It's always the woolly mammoths, too. Like, they never want to take care of the fucking woolly mammoths. I don't understand. Like, what do I pay you guys for? Uh, let's see. Komodo dragons. I've got the Komodo dragons here. They don't need that big of an enclosure, obviously. Uh, let's see. And then I got... Oh, yeah, I got penguins. Which, this was weird. Earlier, like, I was, like, over here chilling. Like, trying to, like, find some stuff. Guests can't find ATM? Bro, I have, like, five of them across the entire park. They can find one. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, th those are the penguins. They got a couple They got a couple children now. And I think I have, like... Okay, maybe the last thing are these bison here. Alright, where's the... Where's the... Where's the child? Where is the child? There it is. Oh my gosh. There it is. There it is. There's the baby bison. Nice. Okay, so I think that covers pretty much everything I got in this one. This is the one I've been working on off stream. So yeah, it's it, it's 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 full. It's full now. There's like no more animals I can put in here. Like this thing is full. There are there's nothing more I can do do for this zoo. Alright, so with all of that in mind let me save and let's actually start a new one let's actually start a new one why not it's just got saved real quick okay i already saved so i don't need to okay so let's start a new one let's start one that we're going to make on stream okay so there's a few different maps that we can pick there's like alpine type maps benthic i have no clue what a benthic is honestly a boreal, boreal forest, a coastal map, which coastal is obvious, a desert map, a grassland, a pel pelagic, I, I don't know, a reef, I'm assuming a coral reef, which I don't know why it's above ground, but you know, whatever, savanna, the scrub, temperate forest, tropical rainforest, tundra, wetlands, why would you build a zoo in Antarctica? Like, legitimately, why would you do that? And, of course, then there's, like, different DLCs. And the question is, should we play, um, does the map type influence the animals you can get? Actually, no, it doesn't. I think it's mostly just an aesthetic thing. And the reason why I say that is because when you get into a game and you're getting animals, pretty much what it does is you literally, like, tailor that enclosure to them, pretty much. Like, you, you, like, can literally paint the enclosure as like their um they're like a they're the, the environment they live in pretty much ha, hello high roller big tycoon hey scary computer ghost hello um okay so i did a freeform game so you can have penguins in the desert you can yes i don't don't question the logic to it because i don't get it either honestly but you can yes <laughs> um challenge you know, honestly, I think I've never played a challenge type game, honestly. Where, like, I've actually had, like, a limited supply of money. Like, I've never done that before. I've never done that. I've mostly just done, like, sandbox games. So, I guess let's just... Let's just do one... Uh, let's do one of these, bro. How, how high can it go? Okay, let's not get too crazy here. Sand is pretty much just different colored ice. I mean, if you really think about it, kind of. I mean, they're technically made of much different things, but... Let's do 130,000. I think that's good enough. 
Now, where should we start? Amazon base, the Amazon basin. Uh, American Prairie. Well, let's see. Cape of Good Hope, a city zoo. That's large. De there's a desert. Desert Shore? Okay. An extinct zoo junior. That's that's just like got like just the stuff already planned out for you. Like what the hell? We don't do that. Jungle pool? Okay, that's kinda cool. Mount Kilimanjaro. Mangrove Coast. I kinda wanna do do I wanna do a reef? I don't know. Reef sounds cool. The Scrub Central Mesa. Hmm. A Tundra Ice Chasm. That sounds dangerous as hell. Wetland Conservation. I kind of want to do a coastal one. I've never done a coastal one. I don't think. Coastal Zoo. Large. Medium. Small. Uh, let's just do a medium one. Let's do medium. $130,000. I think $130,000 might be enough to start with, I hope. I hope. Like I've said, I usually only do, like, like sandbox games. Welcome to Challenge Mode. When you successfully complete a challenge, you earn cash or other rewards. However, if you fail a challenge, there may be negative consequences for your zoo, such as money penalties or a decline in guest attendance. All challenges are optional, so if you're not interested in one, just decline it. The editors at Zoo News Monthly Magazine are putting together a special issue on Arctic whales. If you provide them with a photo of a guest viewing a beluga, they'll pay you $750. Well, I don't have anything yet, so, you know, like, I can't do that. All right, so what's the basic layout that we got? Okay, I think I... I picked a medium one, right? Alright, so we got this big pool in the center here. I just noticed how small of a zoo this actually probably is. Okay, so what is our current... Uh-oh. Oh no, the game... No, the game crashed! What the fuck? Bruh... Bro, I go to click to see how much attendance is, and the game goes, bro, it just dies. Too intense for your PC. Oh no, this game from like 2005 is too intense for my PC, bro. Oh no. Oh no. It, it, it didn't save either. Okay, let's, tr let, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's try again. You're starting with $130,000. That's $120,000. Oh my god, I forgot how big numbers are. There we go, that should be good. Alright. Don't do that again, game, please. For the love of god, don't do that again. That was, it was probably just a little fuck up. Probably just a little fuck up on my end, is all. It's good. Ancient Animals Monthly wants to do a feature story about animals brought back from extinction. If you can acquire animals from four different extinct species in the next two months, your zoo's name gets in the headline. Uh, let's not do that yet. Okay. Now I'm going to check this again. Okay, good. Um, okay, so the cash grant's $130,000. Uh, $20 for... I can, I can set the price to free. Which, I mean, if we're thinking about it, we can set a low price, a moderate price, or a high price. Or we can just let guests in for free. Um, so we need people to come, obviously. Uh, so far we don't have any total expenses. Okay, so... How much are things going to cost? Wait, how many animals do, do I have all access to? Oh, no, I don't have access to all the animals. They have to be, like, unlocked over time. Oh, no. Can you set to free and the moment a queue shows up, you set the price to max? Maybe. 
Honestly, that might be it. That might be something that you can do, but I don't know. Oh, oh, these are animal adoptions. I see. Okay. So these are animals that I can adopt. I see. I got it. So these are the ones I've got access to as of right now. A bluefin tuna. Which, who wants to go to a zoo to see a fucking tuna? A, a peafowl. A muskox. A buffalo. A moose. Two American bison. And a manta ray. Honestly, I think a bison would probably be good. Maybe a really big tuna? It might be, honestly. It might be a really big tuna. Okay, so... Obviously, the first thing we're going to need is probably bathrooms right like let's just put a bathroom down okay that was a hundred dollars it's gonna be 25 dollars to upkeep let's fill this in okay let's start small we're gonna start out small here these are $150 each, bro? What the hell? Okay, no, it's fine. I got $130,000. Do with what I please. Let's put more down. Oh my god. They're, they're not even. It's bugging me. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Hang on. They're not even. It's bugging me a little bit. They're still not even. They're still not even. You know what? It's fine. That's okay. Alright, so... Obviously, we're gonna need to put down a... Like, obviously, like, stands, right? Like, we gotta, like, get some... We gotta get some stuff going. Get a soda stand. Um, that's all we got, actually. Hot dog and soda. I could put a pretzel cart down. I mean, why not? like a pretzel car like right there maybe okay hey we're getting we got something at least it's something okay um i'm gonna extend this path a little bit here and i think the first exhibit's gonna be these bison oh my god i have access to very very little fences okay the low tundra fence is only like $75 each, so I mean, hey, that's not bad. Uh, the magazine Zoo Fan Quarterly is preparing an article about successful zoo tours called Hit the Road for a future issue. If you can raise $1,000 in donations from a Jeep vehicle tour within the next two months, Zoo Fan Quarterly will describe your accomplishment in their next issue. If you succeed, the good publicity will attract extra guests to your zoo and increase your zoo fame. If you fail, though, attendance at your zoo will decline slightly. I don't even... I, I don't even think I have access to that yet, do I? I get okay, I guess I do. I guess I could. But that is like not we're nowhere close to that yet. We're nowhere close to that yet. How much is the okay, the big one's only a hundred, so but so let's just get let's just use this tundra one. I guess. How big of an area do we need where these are bison we're talking about, right? It's okay. As soon as the money starts rolling in, it'll be fine. Are you sure these are gonna hold a bison? Like this this doesn't look like it'll hold a bison. It looks like it'll jump right over. But it says this is it'll it'll stay in there, so okay, I guess. Oh, wait, you know what I need? I need trash cans. I just realized I need fucking trash cans. Now, if we don't get trash... If we don't get trash cans, people are just gonna throw their shit everywhere. It's not gonna be good. Okay. Um. Okay, so here's what I was talking about with the, uh... With the painting. Literally, you paint the environment that the animal lives in. Literally, like, into the zoo and that costs a bunch of money apparently so yeah all right 
right. Oh, wait. Let's put down a pond here. Uh, let's put down some grass. And just another water thing, just in case. Gonna... Oh, I have to start researching that if I want that. Okay. Oh, that costs money? Shit. Okay, it's fine. That's okay. That's fine. I guess the only enrichment these animals are going to get are fucking carrots. So, which are $50 each. What kind of carrots are you buying for $50 each, man? Okay, so there's only going to be a couple in here, so let's just get a small stable. Which was $400. I should have gotten the shade. Oh, well. Only the best. Okay, so one male. No, not the muskox. Yeah. Uh, might as well. Let's just get all of them. Let's just get all three of them. Oh, we need to hire a zookeeper, too. I forgot about that. Imagine the taste of a $50 carrot. Oh, man. I mean, honestly, I imagine it probably tastes pretty good. Like, not gonna lie. Okay, so now we've got we've got an exhibit, we've got an animal, and we still have like a hundred thousand dollars. I mean, we spent like almost like two hundred thousand of it already. But no, we had a hundred thirty thousand. That's right. So it it went down quite a. It went down not as much as I thought it did. I guess. If it tasted like a regular carrot, I would I would probably start crying. Oh yeah, no, same, definitely, one hundred percent. Like if it's just like a normal carrot, the research for Missy Springs complete. Okay. Oh, you know what I just realized? We probably need maintenance workers too. Let's just get a couple. We don't. We have a pretty small zoo so far. Here, here is our entire zoo, ladies and gentlemen. A bathroom, a couple stalls, and like one small like exhibit for bison. The Axel Charitable Foundation has declared your zoo eligible for their matching funds program, which helps out newer or smaller zoos. If you can raise more than $1,500 in donations during the next 30 days, the foundation will contribute an equal amount to your zoo. Okay, only $1,500? That doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, sure. I'll accept that. I'll accept that challenge. That doesn't sound too terrible at all. So far, you've raised zero dollars. And it has to be in a 30-day period, okay. Alright, so what's the zoo's upkeep right now? Uh, let's see. Zero, zero dollars? I find that hard to believe. <clears throat> okay, um... Where is everybody? Do I... Do I have to, like, put, like, more stuff down? Is that what's going on? I think I probably have to put, like, a ton more stuff down before people start showing up. Is that it? That might be it, actually. I don't know. We got, we got, we got a small beginning right here. Very small beginning. Um, okay, what else is there for, up for adoption? Let's see. Peafowl. There's one male moose and one female moose. I could get I could get I could get moose. Moose are good. Who doesn't like moose? I'm not gonna lie, moose actually scare me. I shouldn't say that. Alright, this is bugging me, so I'm gonna make this more of a rectangle here. Just right there, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, you see that? There's somebody. There's someone. Someone just walked in. We got one. What do you call a zoo that has one animal and it's a dog? Shit. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you're right, though, honestly. Hey, we got, we got like, a couple kids coming in. I don't know how they got, like, $20, you know, but I, they did, so. Yes, kid, come in. Come see the one, like, the three animals we have, kid. You're gonna love it. Oh, there's fucking Bob Ross looking dude. Brian Perniawin? I can grab him? I can pick him up? I don't know if I want to do that. Get scammed, dumb kid. Yeah. We got, 
Yeah, $20 to come see these fucking bison. There we go. That's how you run a business. <laughs> okay, let's start get. Let's try and get, like, un some more animals here. Let's get moose. What do we got for moose? Oh, but we don't have any shelters for them. Crap. That's going to be an issue. If we don't have any shelters for them, that will be an issue. Okay, uh, what about buffalo? African buffalo. Okay, we got shelters for, that, for them. All right. I remember Roller Coaster Tycoon, you could drown people good old times. Oh my goodness, yeah. I think I, I don't know which Roller Coaster like game I played. I don't remember. Uh, what about Peafowl? Peafowl are probably pretty easy to take care of. And But there's no shelter. See, that's the thing. If you don't have shelter for your animals, like they're going to get unhappy. Like they need privacy, pretty much. Like your animals need privacy. And if they don't have that privacy, they get unhappy. What about this fucking tuna? Okay, I just need... I just need to build a tank for it, okay? Am I really... Am I really gonna build a fucking... Am I really gonna build a fucking tank for... Fucking... Alright, you know what? Fuck. How, 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 many, how many tuna can we adopt? One male, one female, okay. Does the tuna also need a tiny... A tiny tuna house? Maybe. Let's let's see what shelter it needs. No, it doesn't. It's either we don't have any shelter, or it just doesn't need any. I don't know. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna let let's let's get let's get tuna. Let's just get some fucking tuna. We need to build a tank for it. Okay. How how big are these tuna? That is actually a big tuna. Holy shit. That's actually a big tuna. Okay, we gotta build an entrance to the tank. There we go. We gotta change the water to... Whatever... What? What is this? A pelagic? I have no... I don't know what any of these, like... Biomes are supposed to be, honestly. Okay, so for food. New objects are now available for purchase. Oh, hell yeah! Get a couple of those. A clam bubbler. I'll research that real quick. I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to put the tuna in until I research this fully, which shouldn't take too long. Alright, what new what what's new to purchase? Uh a reindeer bouncy ride and a kangaroo bouncy ride. That might help a little bit, actually. Oh, we made some money. Hey, that's nice. We're making some money back. All right, it's almost done. I, I, I want to at least give him some enrichment, you know. The size of the tuna compared to the tank. Yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty big tuna. But this should be enough room for it, I hope. I really hope it is. <laughs> The research for clam bubbler is now complete. Five hundred dollars for that shit. Okay. So we got one male tuna, and then one female tuna. All right, nice. And do I have to hire a special zookeeper for that? Maybe not. Educator, paleontologist. I guess let's hire another zookeeper. Yeah, just dunk him in the... Okay, no, he's got scuba gear. Alright, he's good. He's good! <laughs> yeah, these are some massive fucking tuna. Holy shit. Like, wow. that's Those are actually really big tuna. Alright, we got two animals now. Come see fucking bison and tuna. Just two gigantic tuna. They're like the only things in the tank. Okay, um, let's see. Maybe I should, like, get... How much... How much is an educator? $200. And the podium is $400, which costs $25 of upkeep. Um... Maybe when we get a little bigger. Maybe we... Maybe if we expand a little bit. Okay, what are our... What are our expenses? Let me save real quick. I just realized I haven't saved yet. I'll call this one stream. Yeah, there we go. Okay, what what are we making so far? 
Uh, let's see. Guess in zoo, 10. Admissions, 10. 200. Admission income, $200 so far. Cash grants, that's what we started out with. Okay, where are the challenges that we are doing? I thought there was a way to like check the challenges. Monthly profit. Yeah, we, I know we're not making much of a profit right now. It's because we just bought a bunch of stuff. No donations yet. Oh, that's what I need to do. I need to put down donation boxes. That's right. That's something I need to do. I need to put down donation boxes. Put down donation boxes so people can donate. They're $200 each, man. I'll put another one right here. Not in the water. Right there, yeah. There we go. All right, we still got like $100,000 left. I mean, we're not doing terribly, I guess. How are the bison doing? Uh, looks like they're doing okay. Oh, the stuff needs replenished, though. And how is it going in here? Yeah, actually, you know, this... Actually, this um tank really is actually pretty decent size for for these for the tuna i think i don't know why like you would come to a zoo to see a tuna but you know it's okay it's fine uh can we expand our like food court a little bit i can research the cotton candy cart let's research that it costs eight hundred dollars to research the fuck Okay, what other animals are... This is a zoo, right? Like, what other animals do we got? Oh, there's more bison to adopt. Peafowl. What about muskox? We got stuff for that. Stuff for moose? I got nothing for the moose, okay. A beluga? Oh, these, these belugas have shelter do have shelter. Maybe the tuna are supposed to have shelter. I don't know. A manta ray. Doesn't have any. Um, okay. Yeah, those tuna are enormous. Can, can I drop this kid into the fucking tuna exhibit? <laughs> like, I kind of want to, but I feel like that'd make me lose profit. Like, I feel like that would make me lose profit. Zoo quick stats. Our guest 13. Can't wait to see some animals. Oh, I can see what animals they like, too. Wait, why is this person angry? I hope the small restroom one line moves quickly. Oh, okay. So there's a line. So I should probably put another restroom in. Okay. I should probably put another restroom in. Just right across from the bison. Okay. Alright, what other animals are there to adopt? Um, I don't know which one to do next. What is this man doing? What is he doing? This worker is just literally just walking out into the middle of, like, just nothing. I mean, there's a lot of nothingness here. I've got a really cool idea for this, though. I got a really cool idea for this. I'm thinking, cause can, yeah, I can build, I can build like elevated paths over it. Ooh, that's a really good idea. I like it. I like this. It's coming together. I think this is coming together. Small geyser. I can place a small geyser. That's cool. Enjoy seeing while on tour. Okay. A tundra fountain. A Velociraptor skeleton. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's start building. I think if we're going to put... An, well, I guess we can put another exhibit here, too. Um, Let's see. I don't want to get more bison, man. Like, <laughs> we've already got bison. I think I might do muskox. I think I might get the muskox. Uh, again, I have to use the low. I have to use the low tundra fence, which, if we're being honest, I don't think it's going to keep a 
I don't think it's going to keep a, a muskox contained, but that's fine. New objects are available for purchase. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Let's go around that a little bit and connect it there. That'll save some money. Oh, yeah, sorry. We got to put a zoo gate for the, for the zoo keepers. Get a fresh water source. Okay. I think if we can get more animals, we might be able to attract more people. Salt. Okay, I'll, I'll just get I'll just get more carrots. How many muskox are there to adopt? Two males, two females. I'll probably adopt... I don't know. I'll have to figure out which one I'll, I'll adopt. I'll probably get the shade structure this time. Just to keep it like a little... Just to keep expenses a little down a little bit. Okay. And they're 1500 each. So let's adopt... The two females... And then one of the males. And we'll decline that. And we'll decline the last one there. Oh yeah, and then we gotta hire, hire another zookeeper. Okay. Alright, we got muskox now. Again, I know the game said that this that this small fence will keep them in. But I have a feeling it just it just doesn't. I don't know how, how this game works. I don't know what the logic is. Okay, we're making money. We're making a little bit of money, at least. What buildings are there? Okay, there's... There's, like, two more paths, I think. That's good. That's good to know. Uh, we can get a play dig pit. American Bison 3 is now pregnant. She's... It's pre... She's pregnant, everybody. Oh, yeah, I can get, like, a hot dog and hamburger stand now. Nice. Or I can get the hamburger stand. How much is that to research? 200? I guess research it. Just so we can get like a little more variety here. Because I don't think people are going to just want to come here and just eat. Like just hot dogs and soda. Even though this is, this is a pretty casual zoo honestly. Since... You failed to raise the specified sum during the 30-day evaluation period. The Axel Foundation is unable to contribute matching funds to your zoo. Damn, shit. Oh, alright, well, if that's the only thing... If that's the worst thing that can happen, like, honestly, because of that, that's fine. That's okay. It's okay, it's okay. We're starting, we're, we're starting small, guys. We're starting really small here. I mean, look, we've only got, like, three animals on display. we got, like, a couple muskox, bison. Another bison is pregnant? Holy crap. Both both of the female bison are pregnant now. Like, holy crap. Like, if, if, if we're going to get a whole herd of bison, like, I'm going to have to, like, expand this enclosure. That's going to cost money. Hamburger food stands now complete. Okay. $300 to set it down. Alright, I hope it's worth every penny. And we got... Oh, we got two new animals. A pro... Tarkeop... Turrix? I don't know how to fucking say that. I'm assuming that's what that is. Uh, and flamingos. Okay. Hey, flamingos. That doesn't sound terrible. They're like two two thousand dollars each, but they don't sound bad. Do we got anything else? Oh yeah, look, we got a water bottle stand. There's water. There's a water drink stand now. Oh, I can get like either just the normal. I can get like the normal tundra one, but the only thing is it doesn't fit with the aesthetic. It literally doesn't fit with the aesthetic, but I don't need to like pay money to research it. Okay, how much money have we made so far? Admissions income, 
Okay. All right. I guess that's fine. Only $540. Like, I think I make more than that in, in like, a couple weeks, but all right. So I can put, like, a bridge over this. And they're only $20 each. Hmm. Well, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. But what else do we have? Oh, no. Ooh, I've got an idea, actually. The, the path's a little narrow here, too, actually. I just thought of that. I thought I had an idea, but I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll, keep, I'll, I'll refrain from putting that out yet. I'll refrain from putting that out. Oh, I can put, I can, I can do shows. I can put a show out. Okay. That's cool. Okay. So now that I know that we can decline adoptions, I guess we can probably decline the moose. Because like, we don't have any shelter for it yet. You know what? It's superior because we just got the dodo. We can research dodos now. Or we can like get we can adopt dodos now. You know what? It was worth it. It was fucking worth it because now we can get a dodo. Fucking worth it. One male, one female. Alright. They're three thousand dollars each. Oh man. Maybe not, I don't know. We can just get like a normal chain link fence for them. How much is the chain? Yeah, those are only like 50 bucks each. So dodos are 3,000. Flamingos are 2,000. African buffalo are only like are only like 1250 tw each. Hmm. And honestly, the only way we're going to get more people to come is if we get, like, more animals. Stress Management Associate, Associates is, consult, is a consulting firm that specializes in stress level reduction. The company just started working with zoos and would like your zoo to help the firm demonstrate stress management techniques. According to Stress Management Associates, fatigue is the number one cause of guest stress. A well-rested zoo guest is a happy zoo guest. If you can run your zoo for two months without a total of five different guests... Reaching a cri reaching a critical rest need. Stress Management Associates will donate five thousand dollars to your zoo as a thanks for demonstrating the firm's stress reduction techniques. As a bonus, your guests will be happier. Make sure plenty of benches, tables, and gazebos are distributed throughout your zoo. Difficulty varies. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. I can put some stuff down. You failed to qualify for the matching grant program. Thank you for reminding me of my failures game. Run your zoo for two months without a total of five different guests reaching a critical rest. You need to receive a $5,000 donation and as an ad bonus, make, make your guests happier. Okay, all right. I hope I can fucking do that. So right now we don't really need to put too much more down because we got like plenty of places to rest right here. Um, I suppose, if anything, I'm going to probably, like, put these African buffalo over here. So when we expand the path, we could probably, like, put some benches down to help with that. Game giving you that tough love for motivation? They must be, honestly. Okay, is there a cheaper road? Nope, all these roads are the exact same, so it does not matter. Okay, I'm going to put some benches down here. $125 each. Jeez. All right, let's put the buffalo in. A low wooden rail fence is 75. That's 100. That's 75. 90. Okay. I guess these are this is one of my cheaper options. Let's get some African buffalo out here. I connect to that. That'll save me some money. No, not the big one. The small one. 
Let's expand it a little more. Okay, that was a little expensive, but it's all right. Water in there. Okay. Oh, wait, how many are there to adopt? Two male, one female. Okay, we might as well get all three of them. I mean, might as well. Um, let's see. I can give them the cycad leaves, which have like a dinosaur symbol next to them. Okay, this is fifteen hundred for one of these, but I mean, it might help a little bit. Add some ambience, you know. <laughs> Let's get the shade structure again because that's cheap as hell. I mean, there might not be a place to put it actually. Let's move the let's move the water dish. Not yet. There we go. All right, adopt both males and then female. And get one more zookeeper out here. Okay, we're down to $85,000. Which is not really a lot, but it's okay. I think, I hope. Oh my god, look at this. Look at these dudes. Like, look, they're just... Look, I got a maintenance worker sitting on the bench. I got a zookeeper sitting on the bench. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, what do I pay you people for? Like, you're just going to sit there on the bench? Okay, y'all need to move. I'm trying to put a bench down. Thank you. <laughs> Scam simulator, yeah. I mean, I've got four animals here. Like, I mean, it's not a total scam. I mean, not yet, at least. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? Oh, empty trash can. Are the maintenance workers not doing their job? Oh, I, you know, I just realized I didn't put a fucking gate. I didn't put a gate. I dropped a zookeeper in there and they can't even get out. I dropped I dropped a zookeeper into the fucking African buffalo enclosure and they couldn't even get out. They're just gonna like, they're just gonna gore him to death and the whole audience is gonna, and every single person in the zoo is gonna watch. If he dies, he dies. Exactly. You know what? And you know what? It'll be that that that's how you draw people in, man. Like that's how you draw people into the zoo. You know, that's how you draw people in. You say you, you promise them like gladiatorial combat. <laughs> oh, there's someone that's super stressed out. What are, what are they what are they stressed out about? Amusement. Fountains, arches and statues. Okay. All right. All right. That's fair. That's fair. There isn't really much to look at around here. So that's okay. That's understandable. Um, what do we got? A campfire? That people like that? People just want to see a campfire? But that's not aesthetically pleasing enough. A lava. Ooh, a lava pit. I just put it right next to the bathroom, and the bathroom burns down. A small... Okay, see, a geyser? That It's 600 bucks, but it might work. It's a geyser. So while you're sitting here eating, you can get wet. Like, see, it makes so much sense. It makes sense, trust me. Don't question the methods. Atlantic Bluefin Tuna 2 is now pregnant. Alright, hey, look. We're getting new animals. Oh, we can get penguins now. That's cool. We can get penguins. Alright, so we got bison that are pregnant. We got tuna that are pregnant. Tuna. Did I say tuna spring? I probably did. Clean water. Th those really are like massive tuna. Like, I, do tuna actually get this big in real life? 
Like, cause that those are massive tuna. Like, legitimately, I don't know. Oh, someone just donated. Nice. We love to see it. I guess we can put another donation box somewhere. Tunas can get bigger than you. Oh, fuck. Okay. Gotcha. Got it. Okay. Very good to know. Very good to know. Okay, we're losing money right now, actually. We're, like, losing money. Though, in all fairness, that's probably, like, mostly, like, from me, probably. Like, yeah, adopting animals and animal upkeep and stuff. So, I probably gotta, like, stop. <laughs> I probably gotta, like, stop doing that, probably. Up to two times the size of an adult? Oh, fuck. Okay, I see. That's... That is a massive tuna. Okay, I got you. Got it. Holy shit. A snow machine? I can put a snow machine down? Hey, I mean, honestly, like, we got, like, we got, like, we got, like, the muskox here? Like, hey, that could work. Binocular stand. Okay. Tra tundra trash can. Uh, there's another person that's angry. It's amusement. Okay. Fountains, arches, and statues. Well, I got a geyser. I mean, I don't think, like, that's going to contribute to their stress at all, but you never know, so... Okay, the arch is, like, $300. Um, where can I put it where it'll be fine? Like, right here? That's not bad. Now, let's do it. Fuck it. Oh, American Bison 2 is about to give birth. Is it American Bison 2? I think it is. Alright, alright, boys. Who's ready to witness the miracle of life? Maybe. <laughs> I like how I'm just standing here, hovering over the bison, just waiting for it to give birth. Like, <laughs> like yes, any moment now. It would... Any moment now. Oh, it's laying down. Oh, there we go. It did it. It likes you a lot. I guess it does. Yeah. Look, it's given birth. We have a we have a small bison in our zoo now. Amazing. We did it. We did it, boys. We brought life into this world. Now, I really hope that gets I really hope that gets like a lot of people like attracted to see the zoo, to come to the zoo. Because who doesn't love baby animals? It came out sparkling clean. Yeah, exactly. Uh, American Bison 3 just gave birth, too. Holy shit. We got two new bison. A true miracle, yeah. Exactly. They're the bison messiah. They will lead the they will they will lead bison kind in the new era. <laughs> Someone just say help? Okay, there's there's an angry person. You need amusement? Go look at that geyser. Go stare at the geyser. Go stare at the arch. Okay, I wonder if we can, like, operate for a little bit, like, just like this, off this model here. Like, keep admission the same, keep admission the same price. Keep this amount of animals for a little bit. Um, because we're down to 87,000. Keep in mind, we start with 130,000. So, like, I've already burned through quite a bit of money, like, building up this zoo a little bit. <laughs> gotta check on these, gotta check on these buffalo here. And then this, this dude is being lazy as hell, like, just sitting down. He's a zookeeper. Like, it's, 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 what are you doing? Is this person so angry about the amusement? Going to buy the soda. Oh, there's a line for the soda stand? Okay. Oh, it probably doesn't go, it probably, does, it's probably pretty fast, though, so it's all right. Yeah, amusement need. Yeah, it looks like these people need some amusement. It looks like that's like one of the things that people are kind of 
saying that we need is amusement items. I mean, Velociraptor Skeleton. We can put a Velociraptor Skeleton. A Jack-O-Lantern. Oh, we got new objects available to purchase. Hell yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Popcorn cart. Looks like we got some carts. Okay. It's because our zoo went up in rank. Our zoo is now one and a half star zoo. Muskox 2 is now pregnant. We're going to have more animals in our zoo. Okay. Well, this person's angry. This person's literally angry because there's no amusement. I saw him, like, literally stomping over to the bathroom. Okay, so what can we put down that's more amusing, then? Like, what are people going to like? I mean, there's... There's a jack-o'-lantern. I could just throw a fucking jack-o'-lantern down, like, randomly. A snowman? Snowman binocular stand. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Uh, a pirate donation box? Hmm. A treasure chest bubbler. A bouncy ride. Bouncy ride. That might work. Ooh, a fountain. You know, honestly, like, we could do a fountain. Maybe. We might be able to do a fountain. I think that might work. A small fountain. Yeah, why does the elephant fountain, which is much bigger, cost less to research than this small fountain? Like, what is up with that? A drinking fountain, which is probably just for guests to get water. A mineral deposit. I already got the geyser. I'm not sure what to put down that's going to raise amusement, because I put down an arch, I put down the geyser. There does need to be more amusement, though, I will agree with that. I mean, it said people like fountains, right? Cost four hundred dollars for the research, four hundred dollars to put down. But this costs five hundred dollars to research, but only a hundred dollars to put down. Hmm. Let's research the small fountain. Yeah, it's gonna cost more to research, but it costs less to put down. So I can put more of them down, you know, if that makes sense. So I think I'll get more amusement for less money for people also there's not really a lot of places to put stuff down i think i'm gonna expand this out a little bit i'm gonna expand this part out a little bit so that way i can fit some stuff on some pavement and then i can put i can put this water stand literally like right down right over here which that'll be like $400, obviously. But you know what? It fits with the theme, too, because it's right next to the Tundra thing. I feel like that works. That might be aesthetically pleasing enough. There's a gift card. I can purchase a gift card now. Ah, yes. The old less for more tactic classic. Exactly. Egg? Exactly. Oh, hey, Rickster. I just noticed that's you. Hello. I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Let's, let's just put the fucking fountain right there. There we go. Yeah. All right. Everyone who needs amusement, all right, who's tired of the fact that my zoo has nothing amusing, come look at the fountain. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful, tiny fountain. Oh, well, it looks like everyone's mostly happy. Like, they're, looks like everyone likes the, likes the benches, you know? I mean, I imagine the animals probably got something to do with it. This path is a little narrow here. That's something I don't really like. That's probably going to be a detriment later. I think. Okay, but what animals do we got that we can get? 
think we should hold off on getting animals for a little while because we're down to eighty-five thousand. How is our money? Oh, look! Actually, look for April. We actually had a uh, we actually had a two hundred eighty dollar profit. Hey, that works. That works. That will work. I still like the idea of building a bridge across this. Like, I think that would work really well. Maybe, ooh. Maybe we could put, like, a whole, like, little thing up there. Like, you know, put some, like, food stands. Put some, like, maybe, like, some amusement stuff. Like, maybe, like, some, like, smaller, like, kid rides and stuff. Like, honestly, I think that would work pretty well. That might work pretty well, actually. Gotta groom these. Gotta groom the bison. Muskox 1 is now pregnant. We're gonna... Oh, my goodness. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Didn't I get, like, one male and two females? Muskox 2 was pregnant. Muskox 3 was... Oh, no, wait. Muskox... Oh, th I got confused with the bison. I was like, wait a minute. How are, how, are, how are three of the bison giving birth? I thought, like, one of them all of a sudden, like, pulled, like, a Jurassic Park, and all of a sudden, like, they went from, like, female to male. Like, because, like, I don't know, the frog gene or something in, in it from Jurassic Park. Like, I thought, I thought Zoo Tycoon was, like, pulling, like, a Jurassic Park on me. Legitimately thought it was. But nope, I got him confused with the muskox. How are the muskox doing, by the way? Looks like they're doing okay. All right. So I think next what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the path this way. I'm going to put something here. In this, in this area. I'm not sure what I'm going to put there yet. Um, let's see. What do I not want? So, we've already got bison, so I don't want bison. So, it's gonna give me bighorn sheep. Okay. Uh, penguins. Dodo. Dodos are interesting, because they're extinct. But they're $3,000 each. But then again, there's only two of them. One male, one female. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, what did it give me? A bighorn sheep. Well, that thing is very adorable. I love it. I mean, like, I feel like we should just have more animals, you know? Like, I feel like we should have more animals. We literally only have, like, four. We have, like... And three of them are, like, some flavor of cow, pretty much. Like, we got... You got the bison, you got the African buffalo, and then you got the musk ox. And then you just have tuna. Like, just big-ass tuna. All right, well, we're making quite a bit of money. Yeah, we're making quite a bit of money. Oh, shit. No, for April, we actually have a $1,356 profit. So maybe we should hold off for, like, a... Maybe we should hold off until, like, we get into, um... Until we get into... May. Before we actually, like, put any more animals down. Because right now, I think what we got going on is good. I think it's going all right. The only issue I can see coming up pretty soon is we're starting to get more and more guests in the zoo. And that might be an issue because that means things will probably start to get crowded, you know. And if things are crowded, then that means there's less seats, there's less, like, benches for people to occupy. So it might become an issue. Um, for the time being, I'm going to put a couple more benches down over here. Just give people a few more places to sit. And I think I'm going to build the road over here. We're going to actually increase the size of the road this way to three. Which, I mean, yeah, it's going to cost a little more, but that's okay. What, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's probably because it's at too sharp of an angle. Okay. Well, I can fix that a little bit. There we go. Actually, you know what? That made it look fucking worse, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. 
That made it look worse. Okay, do we make it into... No, we've not made it into May yet. But, I mean, we, we're still making a profit. We're still in the green. I wonder how that challenge is going. I wish we could check the status of that challenge. Staff salaries. $8,100. $8,100 a month for staff. I wonder how much that, I wonder how much, like, that makes it. Like, I wonder if, like, you can, like, look at this and calculate, like, how much they make in a month. Like, I wonder if you can do that. So, because, of, because I've expanded this a little bit, I'm going to put a couple more benches down this way. I'm going to put donation box right there. Who can donate? Um, let's see. I feel like I actually have to like plan a lot of this out. Oh, we can put a fountain down. Let's put a fountain. There we go. This fountain. <laughs> Beautiful amusement. While you're watching the bi while you're watching the bison. Um. A popcorn. A popcorn cart. That might not be. That might not be a bad idea. Put a popcorn cart down. Put a couple trash cans over here. I think we'll be good to go. All right. Hey, we're we're getting there. We're, we're expanding a little bit. African Buffalo 3 is now pregnant. Pregante. Pregananan. You know, this dude's looking a little rough. But you know, it's okay. We're making money. That's all that matters. This game taught young me about capitalism. Is that good? Is it bad? I don't know, honestly, at this point. No, I'm just kidding. I play this all the time on fucking sandbox mode. What do you think? I, you think I'd play this and risk losing fucking money? Fuck that. All right, so we got a popcorn cart. We got more benches, trash cans. I think this is shaping up to be pretty good. Are we still in the green this month? We are still in the green. We're still doing good. Okay. But I have a feeling like it, the second like we adopt another animal, we're going to go back into the red this year, for this month. So I want to at least make a profit this month. But I thought the zoo... I thought the zoo... Or Zoo is about the animals. Uh, yeah, obviously. It is obviously all about the animals. Obviously. But you know what? It's also about money. It's about money. That's why it's called Zoo Tycoon 2. You're not a tycoon if you're not making money. What is this, what is this man doing? He's just... He's just absolutely like chilling in the water even though like this whole exhibit's like a tundra exhibit so it's probably freezing cold water but he's chilling in it so you know what i think i think that's fine are the bison getting too overcrowded yet with the two like babies i don't think so what is this man doing hey bud you okay oh what the fuck There's a camera? Muskox 2 is going to give birth. Oh, oh my god, be there. Let's go. I gotta be there. Let's go. We gotta witness the miracle of life again. Which one of you is Muskox 2? That's Muskox 3. Muskox 2 is right there. Oh, we got one. I took a photo of it. Let's go. I don't know if that helped me or anything, but I took a photo of it. <laughs> and he's replenished. Alright, so we got child we got baby muskox now. Alright, let's go. Okay, wait, you know what I just realized? The door to the stand is literally at the back of the stand, right? It's at the back of the stand. But this, but there's a fence there. There's the muskox ex exhibit there. So this man just can't leave his post. He's just forever stuck 
in the little water booth. He's just forever stuck there. He's just forever stuck. He's not going to be able to get out. He just will not be able to get out unless he wants to, unless he wants to like risk like jumping the fence and and like running and then jumping the fence again, like to get away from the muskox. Like I, honestly, like that's my, that's in my, in my head. That's canon. That's what he does. All right. So guests are feeling educated. That's good. I don't have it. I don't know how they're feeling educated, but they just are. The popcorn stands making money. Oh, oh, oh. Well done. You went two months without five different guests reaching a critical rest need. The guests in your zoo are well rested and happier. Stress Management Associates donated $5,000 to your zoo as a thank you for demonstrating the firm's stress management techniques. Hell yeah. There we go. I got $5,000 for that. Fuck yeah. We're winning today, boys. We are winning. Let's save real quick. No break policy. Exactly. You don't... There's no breaks here. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, I don't think I ever see any of the employees leave. Like they just stay here. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move this cart up a little bit. Cause I'm gonna keep the path going this way. All right, new objects available to purchase. Let's let's go. Oh man, seven thousand dollar profit. Hell yeah, that means we can get another fucking animal. Let's go. And new objects are available to purchase. What do we got? What new objects? Ooh, a coffee stand. That's just what people need is coffee. Hell yeah. You can get a coffee stand. A salad food stand. Nobody's coming to a zoo to eat fucking salad, bro. Nobody's doing that. A sub food station? Oh, that might work. A, su a sub stand? Like a subway stand? There we go. That'll work, probably. I'm going to extend the road this way. American Bison Forge just grown from young to adult. All right. All right, what animal should we get next? Oh, we can get a jaguar. Or should we get the dodo? Hmm. What are we? We're $7,000. So if we get the dodo, we could theoretically still make a profit. Theoretically, just depending on what we use. And we got shelter for it. Yeah. Oh, we can get enrich more enrichment stuff. Pink ball, blue ball with rattle, a rubber toy, a small toy ball. Let's research the small toy ball. Lies. Lies for what? Wait, what did I lie about? All right, let's start building this the, the dodo exhibit. Oh, yeah, we can just put him in a low chain link fence. I'll save money. Because those are only like 50 bucks each. I imagine they probably don't need that much room. So. Put the fence in. American Bison 5 is just grown from young to adult. Okay. Good. Food trough with bananas. Can we just get a pile of bananas? Let's just get a couple piles of bananas here. Small water dish. $250 for a small toy ball, bro. Like, what the hell? Alright. Looks like we're ready for dodos. Alright, are we still in the green? Okay, we're in the green for April, but we're in the red for May right now, so we got we to gotta work to get that up. All right, so let's get one more zookeeper here. All right. A hundredth guest. All right, we've had a hundred guests at our zoo. Let's go. I eat, sa I eat salad while I, pet, while I pet the bunnies. They chill with me and accept me as one of their own. Oh, my goodness. Actually, can you get, I don't think you can get rabbits in this game. I wish you could. It's time for a new advertising campaign for your zoo. Families love to visit zoos, and you want more to visit yours. If you have happy animal families in your zoo, you can get more guest families to visit and make donations. 
If you photograph a dodo family, a civatherium family, and a bush antler deer family, your marketing team can create cool billboards to attract families to your zoo. Well, unfortunately, I only have one of those families, and I, I so I can't make any of the other ones, so I, I, I can't accept that, unfortunately. All right, we got dodos now. Let's go. Where's, where's the other dodo? I was going to say, where's the other one? There he is. Yes, love your zoo. Awesome. All right. All right, so now we got fucking dodos. We got our first extinct animals. Let's go. Muskox 1 is going to give birth. Ooh. Which one to use musk ox, musk, musk ox one? Oh, which one is it? Oh, musk ox one gave birth. Oh, okay. She, she was over here. All right, we got another little musk ox. Let's go. Are they supposed to come out with the horns on? I have a feeling they're not. Ooh, a gift card? Let's put a gift card down. You know, get some people to buy some gifts, you know? Let's put a couple more benches down. With a couple more trash cans, because we don't want the zoo to be dirty. What can we put for enrichment? A United States flag. Oh my god. Okay, guys, you can't see this shit. Look, look. To research the American flag, it's $1,776, bro. What the... Merc... Merica, as they say. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Nice little Easter egg, guys. Nice little Easter egg. A totem pole? That's like $420. Hmm. Polar bear statue. Triceratops skeleton. Ooh. A lava arch, a tundra fountain, small fountain, tundra music rock, classic music rock. Oh yeah, bro, let's put down a music rock. That might actually do some good. Like that might actually like keep people entertained. All right, people are buying stuff from the gift cart. Good, good. We're monetizing our zoo. Monetization, everybody. Look at these dodos, bro. They're so cool. They're so cute. I love them. I love these dodos so much. A lava pit? I could just, I could literally just put like a lava pit down if I wanted to, but it's so expensive. It's so fucking pricey, though. American Bison 2 is now pregnant. Oh, we're going to have more bison babies. Okay. A steam vent. Click, select, and then place a steam vent. Guess we'll enjoy the steam rising from the steam vent? It's $800, though. Maybe I should, maybe I should hold off a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Are you seeing this? Look, this person's got a muskox hat. What the hell? And why are you still sitting down, bro? We got a no-break policy. Come on, get up. Oh my goodness. Alright, I think we got amusement down. They got we got people dancing to to the rock music. <laughs> rock music, get it? I'm done. Alright, how's everything else going? Wasn't wasn't the uh I thought one of the tuna was was supposed to be pregnant. Zoo Design Inc. is running a trade piece on maximizing guest amenities and is particularly interested in your zoo's offerings. They will mention your zoo in their article, boosting your zoo fame. If you provide them with pictures of some of your amenities, you will need to photograph the following amenities. Gift cart, kangaroo bouncy ride, small restroom, any food stand. Oh, that's easy. I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. Like, I got a gift cart already. I already have a small restroom. Which, speaking of which, I probably need to put another restroom down somewhere. Uh... Uh, I got a food stand, and then I can get the kangaroo bouncy ride. I need to research it, but I can do that. I can do that real quick. How much is it? Kangaroo bouncy ride. $200 to research. Okay. 
I can do that. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to put another restroom down. Oh, I can get a family restroom now, which is $300. All right, well, we need restrooms, so let's, let's put another restroom down. All right, well, uh, let's take some pictures then. Oh, someone's angry. What are they angry about? Restroom. Bro, there's one right there. Go take a piss. All right. Oh, and here's a picture of a food stand. And then we have a gift card that I can go take a picture of. Kangaroo Bouncy Rise Complete. Okay. All right, now let's put down the Kangaroo Bouncy Ride. Let's put it down uh, $300. Okay, let's put it down right there. Okay, looks like I took... All right, I think I took pictures of all of that, so we should be good. Uh, let's see. Is, is there a way I can check these challenges? I don't think so. Are we still in the red? We're still in the red for May. We're still in the red. It's okay. It's okay. Guests love your zoo. That's good to know. All right, let's try and recoup some losses. All right, the the cost for entry is still 20 bucks. Okay. It looks like people are still really happy, so it looks like we're doing all right. Oh, we got someone dancing to the music rock. Okay. I thought one of the tuna was pregnant, though. It, did the tuna just give birth and I wasn't paying attention? Let me take a look. I cleaned the water. No, there's still only two tuna in here. I thought one of you was pregnant. Crate animal. Okay. Um, current activity pooping. Awesome. Thank you for telling me. I I don't think it'll tell me. Oh, no, it is pregnant. Okay, it's just taking a while. It's just taking a while for it to give birth, I guess. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's save again real quick. Save it right there. Okay, so I guess we just have to wait till the end of the month for the uh, for the people to get back with us and say like, oh yeah, look, you took you took all the pictures we needed. Perfect. I guess we gotta wait for a while. I really wish I expanded this path, honestly, but that's fine. All right, what's going on? What's going on, brother? Is you you just mooing, man? I guess he's just moving. That's all right. Oh man, look at the look at look at what we got. Why are you so dirty, bro? <laughs> are the zookeepers not doing their job again? He's still going. What is he doing? My guy, I don't know if you know this or not, but you don't have to use a mating call out here, man. Like you. Like, it's all good. I think I should put another donation box down. What do you guys think? Honestly, I don't think you can ever have too many donation boxes. We're recouping some of our losses. We're still like $4,000. Like, we still lost like $4,000. But, you know, hey, you know, we're riding the line right now. Riding the line a little bit. Okay, so what do, what do we got now that we can adopt? Llama. All right, we can adopt a llama. We can adopt jaguars. That's cool. Jaguars are expensive as fuck. 5500 each.
And the llamas are like 3,000 each. What the hell? Okay. Belugas are 1,250 each. So it looks like, from what I can tell, it looks like um, the more animals you get, like once you like get something else, like the animal, like the, the prices start going up for them. The adoption fees start going up for them. This path is an issue. Like, I feel like this path is going to be an issue at some point. Thanks for stream. Love me a sim. God, do some other stuff, but have a good evening. You too, Scary Computer Ghost. You too. Thank you for dropping in. I appreciate it. Oh, wait. I just noticed. I have two other bathrooms. Like, I, I didn't even notice that, honestly. these guys make sure make sure you're doing your job that's what we gotta do okay is he still going what, what are they doing yeah let me let me check his status. Is he is he good? Going to drink water from the food dish. I think he's stuck. Are you good? All right, you're good. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I might have gotten stuck on something. I want to at least see if we like finish that challenge. You know, like get. Taking pictures of the stuff and everything. Alright, so what can we do next? We could probably expand this area of the zoo. Um, what the hell is... Bro, what are you doing? Why are you out here? Come here, I'm picking you up. I'm picking your ass up. There we go. I say, what are they doing? They're literally just running out of nothingness. Are we still in the red? Yeah, we're still in the red. Fuck. I mean, we're in less of the red now. Guests love your zoo. Good. That makes me happy. Move from young to adult. Nice. Oh, we can get a compost building now. That's cool. Compost buildings are actually really good. Yeah, I'm going to spend money to research a compost building. Compost buildings are really good. Those are actually really good to have. Because once you put them down, pretty much, like, it's kind of like all the poop that your zookeepers, like, collect goes to the compost building. And then when the compost building is full, you clear the compost out and you make money off of it. So it's really good to have, actually. All right, let's expand the road here a little bit. I'm going to I think I'm going to create like a plaza or something right here, like some just a little small area here where you could probably like sit down, eat some stuff, buy a few things maybe. I think that's one thing about doing we should probably get one of the cheaper animals next. So, like, the common peafowl. Do we got the shelter for it yet? We do. We do. Atlantic Bluefin Tuna 2 is going to lay an egg? Oh, my God. I got to be there. Let me check that out. Oh, it laid an egg? Where? Is that it? Oh, yeah, I think this is it. Yeah. It's, it's laying eggs. Nice. Okay, compost building's complete. Okay, we gotta put the compost building pretty far away, though. Like, over here. Because if we don't, then guests are just gonna complain about the smell. It's something you gotta worry about. I'm gonna block it off a little bit, too. There we go. 
Yeah, I guess Will complained about the smell. And so it said they gave birth. Right, so let's check it out. Let's go in here. Is it just the eggs? It must be just the eggs. So these are the fish eggs. Okay. That's cool. Oh, we're in a new we're in a new month and we're already in the red. Like $888. Ooh, okay. That's fine. That's okay. Let's see if we can recoup some losses here. Can I monetize the bathrooms? Imagine if you could do that, man. Like, imagine actually doing that. American Bison 5 is now... Pr wait, wait a minute. They're all related to each other, right? Oh, no. I... In all honesty, though, we might actually start having an issue where, like, it might get a little, it might, it might be a little too crowded in this, in this exhibit at some, it might get too crowded at some point. Oh, I'm, we should probably hire more maintenance workers. Because if we're expanding and we're getting more trash cans, we probably need to hire some more. Alright, how are things going over here? I'm assuming they're going okay. Alright, so what should we put over here? Up oh, some compost just appeared. American Bison 2 is going to give birth. Okay, I mean, that didn't make us too much money, but it made us a little bit. All right, that works. Muskox 2 is now pregnant. All right. Oh, American Bison 2 gave birth. Let's go. Aw. All right, now we, the herd just got a little bigger. All right. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a donation box over here. I'm going to put a trash can. Maybe a bench or two. Honestly, I don't know why I want to waste my time researching these normal ones. When I can, when I already have like these like Tundra themed ones unlocked. I mean, Dodo 1 is now pregnant. Let's go! Like, I mean, honestly, like, I I know, like, it doesn't fit with the overall style, but, I mean, honestly, I just feel like it's better overall. Just because, like, it's just, you know, obviously we don't need to upkeep it as much. Obviously, we, like, don't need to, like, spend money on research, so. Oh, what just happened? Let's put a couple benches there. Oh, did, did they hatch? Oh, yeah, they hatched. The tuna hatched. Nice. All right, so we put a couple more stands over here. Some more trash cans, another donation box. Can I empty that trash can? Why is everybody wearing the exact same, like, outfit? Like, what the hell? Okay, so our zoo isn't African Buffalo 3 is going to give birth. Okay. Nice. That's African Buffalo 1. Finish that hay.
Are you giving birth? Yes! Oh my... There is so much... There is... We are bringing so much life into this, into this world on this stream. Holy shit. We're doing so good. And Dota 1's going to lay an egg, too. Alright, now I gotta go all the way over there. Whoop. Oh, did... Did lay an egg? Yes, we got an egg. All right, let's go. Okay, so are we still in the red? Actually, no, we're making a profit. We're making a profit right now, actually. So we just got to develop this area a little more. Let me smooth out the terrain. It's starting to bug me a little bit. I mean, yeah, it's going to cost a little bit of money, but... Plan out just a little bit. Okay, it's not perfect, but that's better, at least. Scox 1 is now pregnant. Okay. Yeah, this is... This might... This is actually a pretty big concern of mine now. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's good that the animals are doing what what they're doing, you know, and they're, like, getting children and reproducing, making a herd and everything. It's good, but I'm worried we might start to, like, get, like, limited space, like, in these enclosures. Because of how I made them. Because, obviously, like, we, we were working with limited resources at the beginning, you know. So, it's kind of getting to the point. What's this person angry about? Bath? Bro, just go to the restroom. Like, what? Like, that's the second person I've seen, like, complain about the restroom. It's like, bro, there's one right there, and there's one literally right here. Like, pick one and go take a piss. Oh, here we go. Take a picture of gift card, kangaroo bouncy ride, small restroom, and any food stand, which I did. So, what's the time limit on that? I guess maybe there isn't a time limit on it? I don't know. Honestly, I kind of thought it would have run out by now. I don't know. Okay. I'm thinking about putting a beluga in. Because they're only like 12.50 each. Which is a lot cheaper than a lot of the animals. I've got shelter for it. I can research some things with for it. Some amenities. I got food for it. I would just have to build a tank, pretty much. Which are a little more expensive than, like, just the normal fences and stuff. Now let's check on the tuna here. The water needs cleans. Food needs replenished. Look at this small little tuna right here. Look at this dude. Look at him. He is so derpy. I love him so much. He, he is great. Wait, what the fuck? Why was that just a yellow... Why was that just a white square? Oh my gosh, the muskox doing it again. No, I think it's the bison this time. <coughs> we in the green still? Alright, we're still in the green. We're doing alright. We're doing good. kind of debating which i, I, I kind of want to go for the beluga but at the same time i feel like the peafowl might be cheaper i mean honestly like why don't we just let this motherfucker like walk around i mean had, has anyone ever been to a zoo all right you guys know like every time you go to the zoo you know what i'm talking about where like you see the fucking peacock walking around like is that just me is that just the zoos i go to because it seems like every time i go to a fucking zoo there's always a peacock walking around like i don't get it why is there always just like a peacock? Just a random peacock. 
walking around. Like, that can't just be me. I can't be the only one that noticed that. Is everything doing good? I think so. Everyone, for the most part, seems happy. So, that's good. That's good. That's what we like to see. Let me go see if the compost is ready to sell. You can just fly over there. I mean, I guess you could say, where's the fun in flying over there? But you know what? Fuck it. It's fine. Oh, there's a little bit. How much is this going to make us? Yeah, I mean, it's making us a little bit of money, so, you know, it's good. Should I make, like, one more exhibit? I don't know if I should make, like, one more exhibit, or if, like, I should just leave it off at this. If I'm going to put the exhibit anywhere, I'm going to put it here, probably. I might be able to keep... I might be able to use this one. That just might make it a little easier to... Because, let's see, that's a, a low wooden rail fence. Okay. Yeah, this can use a low wooden rail fence. And I can actually just use a low chain link fence, too. Like, it get the peacock all right yeah let, let, let's get a peacock let's get the pea pal why not they probably don't need too big of an enclosure i don't know let's say like about this size uh that 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 that, that, that does look a little small actually American Bison 3 is going to give birth. I guess let's expand it this way. Okay, it's fine. American Bison 3 gave birth. All right, let's go. Did I put gate down already? No, I don't think I did. American Bison 5 gave birth as well. Okay. Let, let, let's see what's going on over there. Yeah, I mean, it might be a problem in the future. It might be a problem that coming up. Okay. This should be enough, I think. It should be a small... Because, I mean, like, they probably... How big is one? Yeah, they don't, they, they don't need that much room to walk around, so it should be fine. Dodo 3 just hatched. Let's go! Oh, I gotta fucking research that. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I just got re- I'm gonna research that shelter real quick. I gotta- I gotta if I want it. If I want that, I will have to get it. I'll have to research it first, which is going to put me back like $600, so not really that good, but it's all right. Okay, how how's this research going? It's, it, it's getting there, it's getting there. I think we might have already recouped some of the cost. We might have, I don't know. He fell. Do, do I just want to... Should I do the lookout post too, or should I just keep... Hmm. How much is it going to cost to put one down? I can fuck it. Okay, let's research one of these two. Let's research one of these two. Okay, these are 2,000. One of these down is thirteen hundred. Okay. All right. Oh, we're in the red. <laughs> we made a hundred and twenty-seven dollar profit last month. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh my god, the muskox are, are giving birth too? Holy shit. Yeah, honestly, like, this whole episode has just literally been, like, animals just constantly giving birth. I'm worried I might have to release some of the bison to the wild because of that, literally, because there's just, there's literally, like, there's gonna be, like, so many bison by the end of this, by the end of this, holy shit. shelter and the food and everything so all right let's adopt these peafowl okay Ooh, that put that set us back a little bit all right but that's fine that's okay oh i did put i did put it all right i did put a gate down fuck all right well i'm not gonna change it now there's there, there's two gates there are two gates here and that's all right all right, so since we adopted those, let's let's say we don't want we're not interested in adopting the rest. What the hell is it? A plesiosaurus. This is gonna give me a plesiosaurus now. I think this game wants me to like invest in more tanks and stuff. All right, we're down to seventy six thousand. Holy shit. I think we can fit, like, a little more muskox in here. I don't think it'll be too... Mox muskox 5 is now pregnant. Oh, my goodness. There's so, mu there's so much... There's literally so much shit going on. Holy fuck. You know what? I think this will be a good time to probably call it quits for tonight. I mean, it's it's actually... It's, it's almost been two hours, which... Honestly, I find that hard to believe. It doesn't feel like it's been two hours yet. It honestly doesn't feel like it's been two hours yet. Like, I, I don't know, it, it, it just, it just doesn't feel like it's been two hours. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it, it, time just flew by. Like, I guess I was just so concerned with trying to, like, keep my zoo afloat and everything that, like, I just literally, like, ended up just completely losing track of time. Like, I guess that, I guess that's what happened. Which, I mean, I guess that happens from time to time. So, you know. Hey, I, that's not, that, that's not entirely a bad thing, you know. It's a fun game. Who is streaming as of right now? Probably not really anybody that we can raid. Um, let's see. Who's this? Lady Aranea. I don't remember. Oh, wait, no, I think this person bought. Did this person just follow me recently? Let me take a look at my activity feed. Maybe it's been a hot minute. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they followed me last month. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Um, I mean... I mean, I say we could probably raid L Lady Ar Arania, or... They're, they're playing Stardew Valley at the moment. Um... I don't think I, I know they follow me. I don't think I ever watch any of their streams though. So you know, hey, that might that might be fun. You know, it, it'd be a new it'd be a new experience for all of us. Let me exit Zoo Tycoon Two real quick before I forget. Honestly, okay, so we're gonna go raid Lady Aranea. That sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Sounds like a lot of fun to me. All right, so thank you everybody for joining me on this zoo adventure today. I really appreciate it. And again, seriously, guys, thank you so much for 100 followers. I appreciate it. It. it it shows that I'm doing something right, you know? It shows me that I'm doing something right. All right. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching.